Good morning guys. So today um, I wanted to do a little video of something that I purchased recently that I have literally been obsessed with since I got it and that would be my Apple pin. So I got this I want to say about three weeks ago. I think I, it came in on like April 2nd and today's the 19th so like between two and three weeks ago and I've really had some opportunity to use it a lot because I have online classes. Um, I had thought about purchasing an Apple Pencil at the beginning of the year actually like this the beginning of this semester in January but I decided that I wasn't going to do that yet because my computer is actually touch screen and I used to take my notes on that. <laughs> However since we've moved to online classes I have not been able to take notes on my computer because I have to watch my classes on there so I got this for my iPad which is literally such a tool and this pen really upgraded it if that makes sense like I feel like I can do so much more I'm just gonna kind of show you the Apple pen itself and then I'm gonna do like an unboxing and then I'll do a review slash how I take it so here's the beautiful pencil itself as it says at the end it is an Apple pencil and as we look at the tip you can see it's in a little extension back to the bottom uh, this tip actually comes off and there's the pencil as a whole. So this end of the pencil just plugs right into your iPad and it'll charge right up and it actually charges so fast and it's nice to see the battery right there on your widget screen. So moving on, this is the box that the Apple Pencil came in. It kind of has a little slide out part and on top you can see what we're about to look at. There's where the pencil came. So if you pull this out, there's actually an adapter so that your, eye, your pin can plug into the wall and an extra tip. So as you can see here, the tip actually unscrews and it comes with an extra one, which is super nice. Uh, this tip is nice because it literally doesn't hurt the screen at all. And the case I bought for my iPad has a handy dandy little pencil holder. Okay, so that was kind of the overview. Um, like I said, this tip little just comes off and you plug it into your iPad or there's also an adapter that you can plug it into the wall and it literally charges so fast like it takes like 10 minutes for it to be fully charged I mean that's a little bit of exaggeration maybe like 30 minutes and it stays charged for like days because it's like not really using a lot it is Bluetooth to your iPad and all you really have to do to like connect that Bluetooth is plug it in which is super handy the tip comes off and there's another one they're actually the same size I thought they were different sizes but same size and what I really like is like how it feels in your hand almost like it feels like a real pencil so I feel like I can write regularly without wasting a ton of paper which is so nice especially for like um I'm not gonna say like scribble notes but like whenever I'm doing it like practice questions and stuff and I'm just like kind of scribbling down like work I don't have to waste a ton of paper which is so nice like just like scribble done work and I don't have to waste a ton of paper and also it's super nice to take my notes on because like I said it literally feels like a real pencil so my handwriting is really normal one thing that I don't like is I wish you could just like tap the back and it would be an eraser instead of having to like select the eraser but I know that the newer Apple pen has that my iPad just doesn't isn't compatible with it which is kind of honestly frustrating because my iPad is pretty new but I guess it is what it is I think it's because of the charging because it's like a magnetic charger instead of plugging it in but I really like this and I think it is so cute that it says Apple Pencil right here. It just like adds a little bit. I I think that this is such a tool for me because it allows me to take my notes so easily. And as a like full-time student, it's just like something that really helped me, especially with my iPad. Um, these two together are literally perfect. Like honestly, I feel like they should just come together. But you know, I do feel like it was it's pretty expensive for what it is, but at the same time, like I said, like it's such a tool and it's worth it to me. And another handy little thing that you can do on the iPad is if you double tap the home screen, it'll go directly to notes so you can scribble something down. Okay, so let's get right into how I take my notes. I actually use the app called OneNote and this app is so nice. You can organize different notebooks, which I've done for each semester so far, as well as a miscellaneous notebook for myself. And then in the notebooks, you can do different sections. In the sections, you can do different notes. So here I have an example of my engineering notes and I actually have a printout, which is really, really handy that you can just put printouts right into there and you can highlight and sketch all over them. 
Moving on, you can see another section of notes. These are just practice problems that I've done. It's really easy to draw out figures and stuff. I actually learned how to insert a table, which is also super nice. And as you can tell, I kind of like to color coordinate my notes. That way I know kind of what relates to what. As I am doing my chemistry, I've actually adapted almost a bullet journal style of notes. Uh, which is really cool because you have the big titles that catch your attention and then you have different colors for definitions and examples and that kind of thing. You can also insert pictures, which is super nice. I insert little screenshots from my computer. And here's another example of a printout. It's actually a presentation that I could take notes on. Another neat little attribute is that you can zoom in on pages and zoom out. That way they're as small or as big as you'd like. There's also different styles of pages, so you can have a blank page, you can change it to notebook paper or a gridded style. Another one of the neatest attributes of Apple Pen is that if you angle the pen differently or if you put more pressure, the font shows up slightly different. So you can tell here I literally didn't change anything about the pen size, it's just Apple Pen itself. And then there's also highlighters you can write with and all different types of pen in OneNote, which I absolutely love. Speaking of all the different pens, you can actually choose so many different colors and so many different styles. They actually have a sparkly style, which I think is so cool. Literally the different attributes that you can use on OneNote are endless. There's so many tables you can insert, recordings, photos, math equations. There's even a shape to ink or ink to shape, different options. So here you can tell that I literally am not changing the pen style at all, but the font looks different with different pressures and also the side is more of a thicker style, which is very neat. So yeah, that's about all I had to show you with my Apple Pen. Um, I just wanted to show you how OneNote is really amazing and how you can insert all these tables and how Apple Pen just makes it so much better because there's like so much stuff to do. And it's also really cool because if you select the draw mode and you like try to do stuff with your fingers, it'll like move the page, whereas your pen will just draw and it's different on my computer. Like you have to use like two fingers and select the like cursor button instead of just like doing it with your fingers and the drawing with your pen so that's really handy and it's also so handy to insert graphs for me and to color code things with the highlighters and pens and it's just kind of like so helpful it's really helped me I feel like learn better because I can look back at my notes and be like oh um so this correlates with this and this is what I was doing you can actually also record your lectures like if you're live in class and insert it um into OneNote but I haven't been able to do that because I've been at Zoom University overall I literally I love my note taking program and my Apple Pencil right now. And let me know if you have any questions. Hopefully I'm gonna be able to continue using this throughout the rest of my college career. And it's really nice because like I said, I can literally organize notebooks for each semester or each year and it's just so organized and so handy and so nice. You can also, I don't even think I mentioned this, but you can like subgroup pages for like chapters so it's not like a billion pages listed down. It'll like, um, like group them together though it'll show it like chapter 14 and there's a little down button and you can click it and all the pages will show so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned i think i'm gonna put up a, vl a vlog for the week on thursday and then another video on the next monday so hopefully that's kind of a new routine that i'm getting into and yes remember to like and subscribe and i'll see you on thursday or monday